Welcome back to the Concentric Home Solution Woodworking Channel. In this video, I would like to share with you some of the digital or electronic devices that I use in a shop that make life easier for me or make me more productive. <laughs> We're going to start off with the digital readout on my drill press. It's made by Wix. It's a very accurate device. I use it so I could determine depths of holes. The machine came with a stop, but I, I prefer the idea of, you know, visually seeing how far I have left to go and knowing when I reach the exact depth that I want. So, I upgraded it to a digital readout. The one I've owned the longest and the most useful one is the one that's on my table saw. It is made by a company in North Carolina. I really, really like the product, but being straight with y'all as usual, uh, I, I put, you know, I am, I put everything out there. I did have a bad experience with them when I bought the um, digital readout, unfortunately. Um, I had to inquire, because I was looking between it and some other products, and I had to inquire if they had offered free shipping like their competitors. And two different people at the company gave snide remarks such as, yes, we do offer free shipping if you drive up to North Carolina and pick it up. That literally was a response from a member of that company at the time. But as far as the product, I actually intend on giving them another chance because I would like to upgrade the one I have. I had made modifications to it to try to improve it, but the modifications themselves had some drawback. The main drawback is that when the battery times out, I'm using it with a, uh, a USB battery. The battery, when the battery time out, you basically gotta recalibrate the whole system. So I'm, I'm willing to give them another chance. Uh, maybe that individual I did with, uh, once again, it was two different people. Maybe the individuals I, I dealt with are no longer there. Maybe management is different. I'm willing to give them Another try. It's an American company and it's actually a high quality product. Can't knock them for that. So I will show you in B roll, you'll see both the DRO for the drill press and you'll see it for the table saw. Once again, I really like the one for the table saw. It originally used AA battery, but I got tired going through AA battery. They have an upgraded version of the product that allows you to use it with either a plug-in power supply or with a USB battery. So, and it has some additional features that I like. So I'm gonna look into that. This is not necessarily woodworking. Well, it can be. We do do miters in um, woodworking. We do use miters, crown molding and bookcases. I, I, talking about that, woodworking is kind of murky, the term. Uh, there are different specialties and there are different, uh, well, basically there are different specialties. Like someone may not consider someone that does trim carpentry to be a woodworker. I don't know how, they work with wood. In my opinion, that's a woodworker. Even a, uh, uh, a rough framing carpenter I would still consider to be a woodworker because the occupation deals with, with wood. So how can you exclude them? So this is mostly a trim carpentry. And even when it comes to, while I'm talking about that, even when it comes to fine stuff, there's some overlap. In trim carpentry, some of the stuff they do, built-ins and so forth, especially in very high-end homes, it rivals fine furniture. Some of these guys 
get that good. It rivals fine furniture, so. Back to this. This is a digital, a digital angle finder made by Bosch. Let me turn it on. I bought this years ago for doing crown molding. See, turn it on right there. It's showing zero. And then as you open it up, it's gonna show different degrees. Very useful product. It also has some additional features that allow you to find and determine spring angles, which is very important when you're working with crown molding. I'll leave information on this. Very good product. Turn it off. Some of the stuff you've seen before, I've actually done a review on some of them, but I like the idea of including in this video because they're all my digital related tools. Everything I basically use is a battery and act or functions like a DRO or give me some type of important information I need to complete a task. You've seen the wood wizard before. This is for finding metal and wood. We went over that. I'm not gonna linger on that. This um, eye gauging product is a depth gauge. Digital readout, very accurate. You can find the depth of holes. I, you see me using this recently to determine the depth of holes that I um, drilled out on a, on the CNC machine. Here's a new product that I have never shown. Uh, I'm actually gonna go over my lasers here for a second. Is lasers. Lasers, especially for installation, putting it in cabinets, bookshelves, crown molding, whatever chair rail or whatever lasers very very important even in a shop at some point on my side bench over here where i have my miter saw i plan to bring that down to the height to match my table saw and my alfie table and i also plan to bring this bench or its eventual replacement to the height of the table saw too it's very important for me in a very small shop to have everything on the same plane, especially when I'm working with long pieces or large pieces so they, they can be supported. So using a laser, you, are, you could have, like this, you can achieve this easily. This laser has several different settings. It has, uh, it can give you a plumb line it can give you a level line and it could give you a plumb and level line. I have a couple other accessories that I use with it that is aftermarket, tripods and such, but this is a very useful tool. This one is auto leveling, it's made by Stabila. It's the LAX2. Very good product. When you close it, it locks the pendulum so it doesn't jostle around. This next product is also made by Stabila. It's a laser tape measure. Now, you don't want really to use this very much in fine woodworking, but for finished carpentry, crown molding and so forth, you want to measure a room, this thing is deadly accurate. It is deadly accurate. And you it gives you a lot of information. I'm trying to not point the laser at me as a laser pointer. But it gives you a lot of information. And the tool is very accurate over its distance. I think it's like over 200 feet. And it's accurate within like, I think in at 30 seconds or something like that. No, it's very accurate. More accurate than at any tape measure. And over a longer distance. Similar idea, this is also a great layout tool. This 
will allow you to find it has three lasers on it. Three, I think three or four lasers on it. I think it's one on the side too, yes. Yeah. So you have a laser dot in the bottom. It's a plumb bar, basically. You have a laser dot on the bottom, laser dot on the top, laser dot going this way that's perpendicular to the top on the bottom, and a laser dot going out that is perpendicular to the, um, this side one here so you can use this layout for framing for you know if you're doing a cabinet base or something like that you can lay out a corner it's a very useful product I'll leave the information on it it's the um, LA4P and it's made by Stabila you can take a look at it here on the side from the top, that the laser laser comes up through here and gives you a dot. And from the front, you can see that laser that goes straight out. You have laser that goes out the side, and you have a laser that goes out the bottom. So very useful. And all of these have, I think, it's a quarter twenty. You can put these on tripods or whatever. I I normally use this on the ground. Circling back over here. This product is used for my layout. I've shown you this before. And this is not really about the tool itself. This used to have an analog um, or non-digital uh, dial indicator on it. I replace it with an eye gauging. Once again, older eyes, easier to read. Battery in this one is dying. Yeah, I'm gonna have to replace the battery. I normally take out the battery. That's my bad on this one. Shame on me. When I'm not using it, when you, you products like this, when you're not using them, especially when you're not using them for an extended period of time, take out the battery. Not only it slowly drains the battery, but a lot of time you could leak battery acid and it can mess up your tool. So it's a good idea to take it out when you know you're not gonna be using it immediately. Sometimes it might sit there for months. So that's a little pro tip. But once again, this I use for setting up and squaring my um, my table saw fence. So it's a tune-up device. If you look on the cover, it actually came with an analog dial indicator. And once again, oh, eyes getting older, you know, middle age, getting up there. I prefer the digital one. Very convenient. It's a creature comfort. It's a creature comfort in other words. We just recently spoke on this digital device, the moisture meter. So you can refer back to that video. You see, I took out the battery out of this. This is what I generally do when I'm not using it. I know it's not a it's a product that I don't use every single day. Take out the battery. Another device I've shown before. Uh, I will leave you know reference to the video. This digital high gauge. This is also by eye gauging. This digital high high gauge. Very cool tool. Very accurate tool. It has a magnetic base. Uh, I use this on my table saw. You could use it for setting the height on your table saw blades or your router bits on your router table. Very, very useful tools. Once again, the digital, all eyes, also very accurate and very repeatable. Very common tool that most people know about is the uh, <laughs> that is hilarious. I'm forgetting the name of this. <laughs> this is... That's hilarious. 
caliper, a digital caliper. Very useful tool in the shop. Very useful tool. The different kinds. I forget where I got this one from, uh, uh, but you have eye gauging, makes a very good one. And chipfly.com have some very, inter very interesting um, types of versions of this. Chipfly.com, check them out. Another tool I've shown you before that I decided to take out for this is the angle cube. Kind of similar to the Bosch angle finder, but I mostly use this for woodworking to set blades. I also use it when I'm sharpening my chisel. I've shown that in a video before how I utilize this to set that angle for my bevels. Very, very useful tool. This particular one is also made by eye gauging. You notice I have a lot of eye gauging product. I tend to like them. They, they tend to make a very good product. This little thing, when I came across this, this was a little treat. They come in about three or four in a pack. I got this particular one from Home Depot. Should I show it to you like that? And what it has, I think it's either 15, I think it's 15 amps is what it's rated for. But you can plug up the two devices to it and you plug this in. And it has, what, what, what it does is it has a radio in it. And it comes, it's three of them. It comes with a remote. See this remote right here. That allows you to control the three of them. I use this with my Festool dust collector to turn it on and off remotely. I use it with my Fuji um, sprayer. I, I, I think I, I mentioned that in that video. It's very, 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 very useful. And it's not expensive. I think it's less than 30 or 40 bucks, if that much, for a set. Another creature comfort convenience is the, this came with my dust collector. I think they come with most dust collectors now, is this remote control allows you from a distance to be able to turn on your dust collection rather than have to walk over to it and turn it on, which is very inconvenient. So I'll show it to you right here. This is very typical. It's very cool. You can also set it by time too for a period of time. Like after you... I don't know why you would use this. I was about to say something, but it makes more sense for the air cleaner. But you can set you can set um, time on this also too. I don't think I've ever used that feature. Talking about the air cleaner, very very useful tool. It keeps the air in the shop clean, so you breathe in clean air. HEPA filter filters all the dust small dust to the micron level out of there and this particular one not only allows you to turn it on and off and not only does it have speed control but it also has a time on it so if you've been doing a lot of work in a shop heavy cutting and so forth like that and then you're done for the day and you're leaving rather than turning it off and leaving and they still have dust particles floating around in the air you could set a timer for it to go off in an hour two hours I think it's up to, I think it's up to four hours. So that's very useful. You can see what that remote control looks like. Very, 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 very useful. This especially for new woodworkers, this type of stuff you need to keep in front of mind when you're, you know, looking to get products for your shop. So, oh, one last thing. It's very ironic because I've been having issues with this particular one. I need to call their tech support or whatever. The reason why it has not been an urgent thing for me is because I have an app on my phone that allows me to control the AC unit. This is for the AC unit in my shop. It's a split unit and the thermostat for it still works. It reading, this is the temperature of the room is off right now. 
but this is the actual temperature in in the room right now you can see that and it's supposed to allow you to control the functions of the um, air conditioner but it's not working for me right now and once again I haven't it haven't been a big deal for me because this normally hangs on a wall and there's a an associated uh, app on my phone that does all the functions of this and more so that's the main reason but that's it oh one more this is not actually digital but it's digital like <laughs> in that the reading is not a dial is is numbers on my new joint or planer I like that readout on it it's very accurate at some point I might replace it with an actual DRO but for now it, it is plenty um, good for me it's easy to read you read actual numbers that are turning on a dial so it's like a it's like a digital metering system but it's an analog device it's not really it's not digital it's not a dial so I'll, I'll show that in a b-roll anything else I think that's it thanks for watching and have a great day if you enjoyed this video and you would like to be notified when new content is dropped on this channel like subscribe hit the bell notification and drop a comment down below